Hi, I'm Samson Davina, and this is my wife Heather. And today we want to illustrate spin using a bicycle wheel. So the first illustration that we're going to give is assuming that we both have a grippy inverted sheet of rubber and we're warming up with forehand topspin to topspin. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to serve a topspin ball to Heather with spin going this way. As she hits the ball, her inverted grippy rubber is going to spin the ball the other way. So I hit topspin to her and then her rubber grabs it and spins topspin back to me. My inverted grippy rubber grabs the ball and spins topspin back to her. Her rubber grabs it and spins back to me. So as you can see, to maintain the topspin, we're actually changing the rotation as we warm up, forehand to forehand. And this is a very typical forehand warm up. I give her topspin, she gives me topspin back. The tricky part is when one player is playing with a frictionless rubber, like an anti or a long pips. What happens then is she'll give me topspin, but when I hit the ball back, my rubber doesn't have enough grip to stop that wheel from spinning. So it continues the same cycle as opposed to changing. When it continues back to her, it's opposite of what she gave. So if she gives me a topspin serve, it's going to come backspin back to her. So go ahead and give me a topspin serve, and I hit it with a frictionless rubber. Boom! See how the wheel continued. Go ahead, hit topspin again and I hit it back to her, so it's continually, go ahead, keep going, it's continually going to me as topspin, and it's continually going back to her as backspin. Now, how much backspin is coming back to her? Well, it depends on how much topspin she gave me. So Heather, go ahead and spin the wheel very lightly, okay? So she spins the wheel with very light topspin, and I have a frictionless rubber, and I just touch it. Obviously, it's coming back very light backspin to her. Now, spin the wheel fairly fast. She gives me a heavy topspin ball, and I touch it with my frictionless rubber, it's obviously coming much heavier back to her. So we've dealt with the very grippy rubber, like the inverted rubber. We've dealt with the frictionless rubber, like the long pips or anti. And now finally, we're gonna deal with the rubber that has a little bit of friction, such as a short pips, or maybe a very old sheet of inverted rubber. So with the rubber that has a little bit of grip, it usually has enough grip to grab the ball, but maybe not enough grip to produce its own spin. So it's kind of deadening or stopping her spin. Okay, so go ahead and give me a top spin serve. Now I'll hit it with a little bit of friction, it just kind of deadens it. Go ahead, hit top spin again. A little bit of friction, it just kind of deadens it. So as you can see, with a short pips rubber, it may deaden it and give it a little bit of rotation one way or the other, but it has enough grip to kill the spin, but not enough grip to add back to her spin. So just in summary, there's three basic types of rubbers. There's the type of rubber that has a lot of grip, that's gonna grab the ball and produce its own spin. There's the rubber with no grip at all, and that's just going to slide, the ball's gonna slide off your rubber, it's gonna give your opponent his, his or her spin back. And then there's the rubber that has a little bit of grip, like short pips, and that just kinda of deadens the ball. 